Okay, so hello and welcome back to another Discord JavaScript bot tutorial. In this one, we're going to be covering embeds, which are kind of like special messages in Discord where you can have uh, an actual like icon on it. You can have, uh, you can kind of format the layout of it. You can have whatever you want, basically. Um, obviously, I'll be showing you the different things about it. If you want to read up more about it, then you can actually, you know, go on to uh, the discord.js uh, documentation online. If you want to see all the commands you can do, because I probably won't cover every single command. Um, in the next one, I'll be going over the music bot, but I thought this would be a quick video to do before that. Um, you know, kind of going up in difficulty or level would make more sense. I was going to be doing a uh, the next in the 2D roguelike sprite game, but uh, I had a problem with the tile map, and I looked up online, and they said there's problems in this version of Unity with it, and they're going to fix it for the next version. So tomorrow, I'll do a video on that game but I won't do tile maps, I'll do something else like uh, enemy movement or like a simple attack or something, you know? But anyway, let's get into this. So first of all, I'll make a simple embed to show you what it even is. So let's just go straight to um, make a new file. Uh, I'm gonna use this to be um, info about me.js, why not? Um, let's go copy this code. Now, one thing is I'm using the library uh, discord.js commando, but for this, I also need to use something from the original uh, discord.js, which doesn't appear to be in the commando one for some reason. So I'm just going to use a const discord equals require uh, discord.js. And that's so that, well, first of all, let's, let's rename all this. So we want um, info about me command and then info about me command let's go down to here we'll just rename these info as the command and then I'll just put um, you know learn a little more about me and then let's let's change this so first of all uh, to do the to do the um, embed we're going to create a simple one first. So all we're going to do is we're going to have it. Oops, sorry, scroll down. We're going to have a like description, and that's it. So we're going to first of all, uh, we need to create a variable for the actual embed before we put it into the channel, so we can tweak it. So we're going to make uh, var uh, my info equals new uh, discord dot rich embed is the name of the uh, constructor class. And then inside of it, we can basically add and change it how we want. So we can um, set description is the first thing we're going to do. And we're just going to put some text in it. So I'm going to say like, uh, uh, hello, comma, my name is Nathan. And just leave that like that. Um, and then, you know what? Oh, yeah, and then we have to actually send this to the channel. So message dot channel dot send embed because that's what we're sending and we have to pass it in an embed as it says that it takes in an embed type uh, and uh, my info is the name of it let's just space that out but not with that okay now we can quite simply just run the bot to be honest I don't think I've missed anything let's go to the bot uh, info there we go we get the bot and it does instead of a message it has this little thing it's basically the same as the message at the moment, but you know, it's customized like that. Now, we can basically add to this. That's what the video is going to be. So it's going to be showing you all the other commands and features you can do. So one thing we're going to do is we're going to do a dot uh, set uh, color. We have to spell it the American way because, you know, damn Americans with their spellings. Um, let's make this. I know my the majority of my audience is actually American, so I should probably shouldn't be saying those things. But anyway, um, now on here, it actually just says it takes in a color, which isn't the best way for um, explaining that because obviously different things take in different color values. I'm just going to go and get a um, hex code for the uh, color and, you know, that works. So I can put like hex code color. And then um, let's go for Actually, I'll just do pick it myself. If it's RGB, that means uh, it's going to be red, green, blue. Now, I actually don't think this is going to work right away. Because I feel like you have to format it slightly differently for this. But we can always see. 
Now what it's done here is it's uh, set color, but it set it to black. Even though I put the uh, I put the hex code as uh, red. So I think what I need to do is one sec. 0x1100 do I have to do it like this just bear with me um, well, oh wait first of all yeah why did I put it as a string <laughs> that's probably my first problem uh, it won't take in a hashtag will it so I feel like when you do um, that you have to put 0x and then you put your then you put your hex code after it let's have a go at that now uh, once I've got this red, then you know it's all working. Ah, why is it still going? Um, like that? Have I not done it? Hex code. Uh, let's think. So if I go, does it have to be like this? Uh, I shouldn't really be worried about like what color it actually is. Yeah, we have to format it like that, okay. Um, so if I want to get the uh, hex code red. Um, oh, that's where I was going wrong. It's not 1-1. One, one. It's uh, FF0000. Zero, 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 zero. Ah, it's just me not knowing my stuff. I thought it was a uh, 1-1 one, one for the R, but it's not. All right. Anyway, so basically with this, yeah, you can change you can change the color of the side. It's really just a little like nice thing to change. You might want different things to be color coded, but you know, in reality, you shouldn't really care too much about that. It's up to you how customizable you want it. Um, one uh, other thing you might want to do is you might want to like have a thumbnail picture for it, which is very handy. Um, normally, I would. Well, there's an easy way you could set it to the icon of the person who sent the message. But because it's meant to be like in this case, it's meant to be about me. I would have to. Well, the best way would to be pass in an image. Um, so basically, I'm going to do dot set uh, thumbnail. Now, I'm just going to pass in this. But if you do it and you want it to be a picture of you, then you actually want to like have a picture in your thing to refer to. So you can figure that out. Um, literally, just put the file location in and the name of the file uh, in your hierarchy. Um, so yeah, we're just going to do the uh, message author dot avatar URL, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. There we go. I get my little thing there. Uh, now this is the description. Uh, what we'll do is we will close the bot. We're going to also now add a footer, that's something we do, so, so we can set footer, which is the little, little text at the bottom, so we can just say, um, we can say, uh, thanks for reading, I hope you learned a little about me. I don't even know why I'm writing this like stuff to be honest. There we go. Here's the like kind of title, the footer, the image, and then we just want to put some text in. Now, one handy way of doing this without the description is by adding fields. Um, so what we can do is we can say, um, you know, oh, what should we call this title? We'll just call it um, about me, and then. Um, we put in our description, so we say it's a uh, name, Nathan. Um, I'll just put, uh, hello, my name is Nathan, comma, I'm 17, and I'm from England. That's as much personal information as I'm going to... Uh, give out in this. Now, after this, there's a boolean. Um, obviously, true, false, blank, whatever. Um, basically, if you put it to true and you make another line and you put that to true, they are both in line. As you see there, it says in line. So that um, if you want like two titles across, uh, otherwise, just leave it blank, to be honest. Um, now, ooh, what's going wrong here? String. string. 
Okay, so now if I uh, no dot info about me, there we go, boom. And obviously you can write more. You can have that go down. Now, just for the sake of showing you, if I put um, put this to true, and then I uh, duplicate this and I change the thing to say um, instead of about me, I can just put um, you know. Hello, this. Now I can just put a side text and then um, I can just put like, uh, why are you even reading? Oh, I can't spell. Reading this. Uh, and then we can do that too. So now, info. Did not put them both to true. Oh, I did. They are meant to be next to each other. What did I do wrong there? What have I done wrong? Okay. Uh, I think what I've done wrong, well, I don't think I've done anything wrong actually. Um, let me just turn off this uh, inlet, well, because technically if I've done something wrong then this should change, but it's done the exact same thing. That's quite peculiar. Um, how about if I put that to true and then uh, this to true and then have another line and leave this blank and then I can put like uh, somewhere else text it's like uh, I don't know what to write any more all right let's try that <laughs> this will be it no, it still doesn't, still doesn't. Is it because my thing's not l long enough on here? No, it actually just doesn't want to work. That is actually very peculiar because uh, dot add field title comma the thing and then whether it's inline and there's no errors. That is peculiar. If anyone actually knows what, how to fix the formatting for that, that'd be helpful because that is meant to go to the side, and it just doesn't want to. But anyway, um, I think I've covered everything that needs to be covered for these. Uh, you can also like um, add a URL. You can um, well, see, you can set a thumbnail and set an image, which are technically different. You know, you can even uh, set timestamps. Let's set a title. Let's do that. Uh, dot oh, dot set title um, all about me there we go it just separates it from the rest um, okay last thing we'll do we'll we'll, we'll do like a um, dot set uh, URL and it takes in a string and I'm gonna go onto YouTube and grab my channel URL. I could type it out, but yeah. Uh, okay, let's put that in here. Um, let's save that. And then obviously this is now a link to me, so if I to info. The title is actually the link now, so we're going to click on that, and on my other screen, it's taking me to my thing. So anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it seems probably seeing like quite a boring video, but to be honest, it wasn't covering something very interesting. But you can take this and apply your own stuff and use it in your own ways because it's a lot more flexible than the normal messaging, um, the normal way of like sending messages. Uh, it's a lot cooler as well because you can obviously customize it how you want. Um, 
But yeah, so if you want to see more of these videos or more of any type of videos, obviously leave a like and subscribing would mean a lot to me. Uh, leave comments for suggestions. And also, if you do know how to fix that formatting thing with these on the same line, then do say, because that used to work for me and now it doesn't, so uh, I'm not quite sure. But anyway, so I've got nothing more else to say. Thanks for watching and goodbye.